Hello, Donna Cato here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my studio. You know, today's tutorial is a little bit different. Um, I decided that maybe I would start excerpting just parts of my longer classes and putting them on the open channel in case anybody wants to know more. Uh-huh. So today we'll be doing a little leaf. Now it's quite the simple leaf, but it's one of many that are in the class uh, that ended up becoming, you know, a lay here. A chain of polymer leaves. Then I decided, well, I might as well do flowers. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. So here are flowers and leaves. So these are actually two separate classes, but they are both or will both be on in the members uh, classroom. Now, the way this all really started was in cleanup. I had to clean up my clay box. I had all these different little bits of color. And, you know, it, every now and then, I would say maybe four times a year, I have to consolidate all the little bits into new colors. And then I use what I've consolidated. But it makes it very difficult because I can't tell you what's in there exactly. I can't tell you what's in there exactly. Uh, we can get close, but I can't tell you exactly, and that's what will happen with you. So this class is for me uh, as much about helping you take what you have and turning it into um, something else and being comfortable with that. Don't always have to have specific recipes for your colors. Now, the second thing that inspired this whole thing were a great pair of pajamas that I bought. I happen to have these beautiful Hawaiian leaves and flowers and all the rest. And, uh, you know, they're my favorite jammies. But they also sort of triggered this. This whole thing was triggered by my color box and my pajamas. So that's how all of this happened. Sometimes these are great things that happen, great earth-shattering things that happen in your life that send you off in a direction in your art. Now, sometimes it's as simple as needing to clean up your clay box and buying a great pair of pajamas. So, without further ado, we are going to make one leaf today. If you're interested in making the rest of these leaves and the flowers, then please join the classroom because that's where they will live. So let us get started. We got a leaf to make. Okay, so this leaf appears to have about 15 veins that angle off of that center. So I'm going to make it, and you know what? They're actually very evenly spaced. It's like they're not thick and thin, intentionally thick and thin. So what I'm going to do is create a slab alternating these two colors. Now the dark green will be slightly thicker than, uh, than this green, but not that much yeah I guess pretty much so okay so we're gonna start with this this through setting the thickest setting of the pasta machine let me give this a go and let's just see mm, what rolling this through setting to looks like relative to the dark green okay very very much the same too much the same so I'm going to roll this through seven four. Let's give this a go. This, this looks better. Okay, so that is setting four. And the way I'm looking at the actual leaf, that appears to be just about right. Okay, so I'm going to take this. First, I, I think I'm going to reserve a little bit of this dark green because I may need it for something later on. want to make sure that I have a bit to fall back on. Okay, so 
So this will be my fallback green. Now let me roll this through setting number four. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, come on, come on. Hello. And I'm just going to do this. Just sheet it like so. I have quite a bit of this left. Well, I don't know how much because it's thin, but. I like this color, sort of institutional hospital green. <laughs> I don't know what, I, I like it. I like it. Okay, so this is what we have so far. <laughs> da, da, da. Okay. Now, the next thing, you know, I do have, I'm going to need about 15 15 veins. Yeah, you know what? That's a lot. Um, and do I am I going to be able to cut 15 times and stack it up and get sort of a reasonable volume of clay? I'm not really sure about that. So I'm going to roll this together through, and I'm going to make it thinner. I'm going to roll it through the thickest setting of the pasta machine first. Just the two together. I just will try to get it closer to this a scale where I don't have to reduce it a lot, but I end up with a little more length to the cane. I hope that makes sense. All right, I'm going to thin it even further. I'm gonna roll it through setting number two. Okay, and I think I'll stop there. Uh, I'm afraid that if it gets too thin, it's going to be like, uh-oh, now I'm in trouble. No, I'm just going to eh, just straighten things out just a bit. And this is a foundation for another green. All right, here we go. Okay, so how am I going to cut this. If I'm lucky, this will be about, oh, it's almost 10 inches. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite so lucky, but I, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm making my own luck. <laughs> I'm just gonna stretch it until it is 10 inches. Why not? I can do whatever I want with my clay. Ugh. Get over there, you. Ten inches. So let me cut five strips two inches wide. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and cut one. Oops. <laughs> Doink. One. Then let's cut two, two, three, one of those trays, one of those trays, quattro. It looks a little bit short. I might have to stretch that one out a little bit more manually or, or so it'll just be a just a tad thinner. Mm -hmm. Just a wee bit. We will survive. Once Hello. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, let's see. 
Oopsie, it came apart. I'm not doing a very great job sheeting, I'm sorry. I'm just aligning that one edge like so. Now let's put them all together. And what have we got? Doink. Like that. So these are two inch wide strips and the strips are measuring about, well, they're two inches wide. And as I said before, and they are mm, about uh, hello, I can't read my own ruler. Mm -hmm. About five inches. Okay, six would have been better because I want to cut this into three. So you know what I'm going to do? Stretch it out to six. You know, when you are math challenged, like, seriously math challenged it's you have to figure out ways of doing things so you don't actually have to measure odd things now i've been looking at you know i i go to my facebook page and there are all of these really weird formulas you know solve this i'm like oh uh, really and with my limited knowledge of math, of course, I always come up with the wrong number because there's something called a PEMDA. Don't ask me what that means. I can't even pick up my blade. Okay. Anyway, keep the PEMDAs far away from me. Oh, five and a half. I can't. Hello. Hmm, let's see. Well, if it's five, let's see. It would be two, four, six would be three. One and one half, that ends up being four and a half. So you know what? I'm going with it. One and one half, one and one half, one and one half, and there's extra. I love my new work surface, but it's really slippery, and I am having trouble picking up my blade. Da, 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 da. Hmm. This leaf is going to be way... Oh, I could probably do 30. 30 pounds. Mm, let's just take a look and see what's cooking here. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Okay, well, you know what? This is, I think this is looking really good. Let me trim the excess. Away. This goes into the new green pile. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, are you long enough? This is what I'm going to do is cut diagonally like that. And is that leaf kind of long enough? Whoa. You know what? We're going to see. So now we're going to do the Sandra McCall walk it down the corners routine. I'm walking down the street. I'm talking. Oh. So just carefully look to the left, look to the right, look to the left. 
look to the right, look to the left, and so forth. Here comes trouble. Okay, so there is the leaf. Of course, I have to put the vein in the middle. And because and because mm, and because of the way it's constructed where you flip it over like that, you see that one side has the light on it and the other has the dark, but I will cut it away. Okay. Vain, you're so vain. Okay, so little vein. Are you gonna be a lot thicker? No. It's gonna be some thicker, but not like tons and tons. So I'm gonna roll this to setting number four, like so. And the vein is going to be this wide, like so. You know what? I'm going to taper it at the tip. I'm going to take my blade and just like cut at an angle like that, just to taper it. Lewis, what was that? Trouble is back in the studio. I love this dog. I love him, I love him, I love him, but oh my God, what a voice. What a voice. All right, so you can see that it is tapered. It's not tapered all that much. You can see it. Well, we'll stick with this. I'm just going to line it all the way at the end, but I'm noticing that this end piece, see, it's not coming to a sharp corner. So what I'm going to do is lay it down like that. And with my blade, just cut it so that I get a nice corner right there. This goes in the new green scrap pile. Okay, I'm aligning it all the way to the end. Now, let me try to visualize. Is that a little thick? Do I want it that thick? Because in the little drawing, which I happen to like very much, it isn't substantially thicker. But I think I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. We're going to end up with a little bit thicker. Now, I'm going to leave a stem like that. Let me just cut. That goes in the new. I think it, that new green is going to be quite nice. No. Okay, so I'm just. And you know, you guys know you have to check both sides. Like so. Okay. I think that looks really good. But we're not through yet, are we? No, we are not. What I need now hmm, are some round cutters. I'll be back. Okay, so I brought back my round cutters and I'm not going to use the round cutters necessarily. I'm not going to go and cut down, but I'm going to take advantage of the arc, just the arc shape. That looks pretty good. 
If I used a bigger one, however, it's less curvy. Oops. Okay, so here's a really humongous one. Look at this. Okay, so I will just... See how it's less curvy? Because the arc is, um, is looser. So I think I'm going to use the looser arc and just lightly indicate. And that's where I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut straight down. Now let's do the other side. And frequently leaves are smaller on one side than another than the other. So that's what we're going to do. Just like that. That's the beginning. And then I can kind of clean this up a bit. Okay. I hope that makes sense. All right. So let's start by cutting this one side. And I have to tell you guys, this is like one of my favorite things to do. I love cutting clay away. And then I got a new green. <laughs> so don't be afraid. Just kind of take your time and work your way in. Okay. And if it isn't absolutely perfect on both sides, I do not think that that's any tragedy. Tragedy. La, da, 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 da. And try not to cut that guy. Having a stem is really kind of a nice thing for your leaf. Okay. Da, da. Tragedy. We're getting there, getting there. Now, I don't think I'm going to outline this leaf with any other color. Okay, so there's one side and here's the other. So let's just kind of straighten this side up just a bit. It's just not going to need much. And once again, if it's not, if they're not absolutely perfect on both sides, it's not really going to matter much. Okay, so there's one side and there is the other the other side. Now, I'm going to make sure I don't cut that. Well, I may cut it. I'm, I'm going to try to be careful, though. As careful as I can be. Okay. And there is one side of our leaf. I don't know what, what that grit is or where it's coming from. Okay, so I'm going to cut the other side, and then I'll be back. Okay, remember when I said I was going to keep this because I might need it? I need it. I'm going to put a little thin sheet right there. Okay. All right there. I'm going to take my clay. Roll it. Hello. I am so hard on my pocket machine. I am, I am, I am, I am. I've been thinking about getting a fancy schmancy pasta machine. And then I think, oh my God, you're just going to do what you always do. And it's not pretty. It's just not pretty. Okay, so let us take a look. I want it to be the same thickness and... Boom, I got it. Setting number three on my machine. Yeah. Okay. Tragedy. Tragedy. Okay, I'm going to stretch it out just a tad. Because it's what I do. Okay, now let's cut the excess away. And 
And I'm going to scoot that puppy over there. Try not to cut it because I would like to refine this corner just a bit. Tragedy. Okay. I like it. I like it. And I can make it skinnier and longer, too. Like that. Which is going to happen. This little boy's going to get reduced. 